Hello friends, my great pleasure to welcome you to my channel as a graphics and multimedia. My name is Rafi Yakubu right here and in today's video you are going to learn how to create a simple restaurant business card in Photoshop step by step tutorial. Well before we dive deep into tutorial, if you are very new to this channel remember to click on the subscribe, turn on notification bell so each time I post content about Photoshop tutorial you'll be notified. So with that being said, so let's dive into tutorial and see how you create a simple restaurant business card in Photoshop. So the first thing you want to do is to go to the home tab right here make sure you click on file and uh, right here make sure you click on new then you have to come to the top right here and uh, type to your design simple restaurant business card okay then you have to come to the width column so for the width column you have to type in 3.25 for the width then you have to come to the height column right here so under the height column you have to type in 1.75 then make sure your resolution is 300 and uh, your color should always be cmyk then come down below here and click on create next thing you want to do is to drag your ruler both vertical and horizontal then make sure it snaps to page like this then the next thing you want to do is to go to the home tab right here go to image then look for canvas size then at this point here make sure you had 0.25 for the weight 0.25 for the weight then come to the height make sure you had 0.25 or so then come to the top right here and click on ok next thing you want to do is to drag your ruler both vertical and horizontal then make sure it snaps to the page like this then the next step to take is to go back to the image we look for canvas size then at this point here we have to add 0.25 again for the weight and 0.25 for the height and we click on ok all right so the next thing we're going to do is to play with shapes and color and uh, to create a simple restaurant business card so for us to do that the first thing we have to do is to come to layer panel right here i'm going to click on adjusted layer right now i'm going to make use of solid color so i'm going to pick my color from the point right here so right here you can see the color code i use for this uh background i'm going to click on ok all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to come back to my layer right here i'm going to make a new layer let me make a new layer then i'll go back to my tools bar i'll click on hold down and i make sure i choose ellipse 2 having choose ellipses we have to come to the property at the top right here we make sure shape is checked right here we can change the color to whatever color of our choice then we can remove the stroke for now then we have to come to the workspace and uh, we draw our circle we have to press shift key and hot key on our keyboard and make sure we draw a perfect big circle like this Then we have to go to our move tool so this time around we have to close this we don't need down window again next thing we want to do right here is to go to the home tab right here we go to select we make sure we click on hall and we what we need to do is to align this particular circle to vertical center boom we have it this way and then we have to make sure we align to left edge right here boom then we go back to select and we make sure we deselect okay so one more thing we can do we can equally adjust this particular circle in a little bit all right so next thing we're going to do right here is to make some duplicate of this our circle so we have to go back to the layer right here we right click on the layer and we have to make sure we look for duplicate layer so this can be circle 2 ellipse 2 so i'm going to press it 2 and then click on ok now this ellipsus what we're going to do right is that we have to fall back to layer right here we double click on the layer thumbnail so what we want to do right here is to change the color so we'll be able to identify and uh, we click on ok now this ellipsus right here we need to adjust the shape so for us to do that we have to go to the home tab right here we'll go to edit from edit we make sure we look for our free transform so we have it this way so what we want to do right here is to press shift key and hot key on our keyboard and we drag in a little bit this allows us to adjust the ellipse in, a, in as much as possible we want it to be so i think i'm satisfied with something like this so once you're satisfied with the adjustment you come to the top right here click on this check mark to accept the transform okay 
so we still need to make another duplicate of this particular circle right here so for us to do that we have to go back to the to the layer all right click on the layer again then we make sure we look for duplicate layer so this can be ellipse 3 right here ellipse 3 and uh, we click on ok so this ellipse 3 also we need to uh double click on the layer thumbnail right here and uh, we have to change the color for easy identification and uh, we click on ok then we go back to edit from the home tab right here we look for our free transform all right so at this point here we need to adjust this particular shape also i'll press shift key on my keyboard and hot key on my keyboard then i will shrink in this allow me to adjust the ellipse as much as possible so once i'm satisfied with this uh, i will have to come to the top right here and uh, click on this check mark to accept the transform okay so i need to fall back to my ellipse tool shape and uh, i will make sure the ellipse tool circle is active on the layer then i'll go back to my two spot right here i'll make sure i select my circle then i have to go back to the top right here i need to change this i need to remove the fill then having removed the fill i have to add a stroke width color to be white then i can maintain eight pixels of the stroke i'll press enter good so i have it this way then i have to go back to my move tool so i have to select my first circle and make sure it's active just like what you see right here once it's become active i have to go back to my toolbar. i will select my circle again and uh, it's become active so what i need to do right here i will make sure i unfill the circle then i'll make sure i come back to my color fill i'll make uh, stroke color i'll make it white then right here i'll make the stroke width to be seven then the stroke style i'll make it dot right here okay so i'll make the stroke part to be seven right here then i'll press enter key on my keyboard so we're going to have stuff like this okay so i will have to fall back to this particular uh circle my ellipse tool i will go back to my circle right here and i need to reduce this to something like five i need it to be a tiny circle okay so i need it to be five so i'm satisfied with that next thing i want to do is to select on this particular circle right here so what i want to do right here is to just import the picture to the circle so for me to do that i have to go to the file from the home tab right here i will make sure i look for place embedded all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to make sure i go back to the layer panel i will select this ellipse and uh, having selected the ellipse i have to go back to my circle right here i'll make sure the circle is active then i'll have to go back to the home tab right here i'll make sure i apply stroke color to be white then i can increase the stroke width from the point here i can make this width to be 15 and i'll press enter key on my keyboard so i need to reduce the stroke weight right here so let me just make the stroke weight 12 enter okay i'm satisfied with that so with that we have done with this part so what next is that we need to add text and icon to the simple restaurant business card okay Never quit.
it right, play the game, win it light, have no shame, there's no time for the pain, with the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, push hand to the back, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mad life, ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail, I took the red pill, I know life's short, so I wanna live real, but how is it supposed to feel? And I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, nah, but I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on this shit daily Pass me the jack, right, this fuel got me hazy About to unpack all these things I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather read than be led I'll fill the seeds as I spread With every word that I've said Yeah. 